Welcome all. This is Colo 5. Playing Dark Souls 3 Cinder's Mod. We're on New Game Level Plus uh New Game 7. And these are my stats currently. This is my gear that I'm rocking. I will keep the Shadow Garbler on for now. Shadow Garb on for now. They used to have a really good armor set here, and they took it away. There was a, there was a chest there. But yeah, well, you know, obviously it's been taken, and it, it was a really powerful. I'm pretty sure it was the Black Knight's armor, and I missed it my first couple of runs. I'll be honest. In my vanilla runs, I would always kill this guy. I don't know why I would do it, but I think I do really like his covenant item though. Sorry, just over, over, overrun his dialogue there. Does this give me extra stamina damage? Physical damage? Uh, nah. I think I'm liking my boosts to my... Oh yes, I love this set. So, increased stamina damage. This is definitely a set I'd like to get early. Okay, I think I will use his... Because how much do I need? Sorry. Might be a bit of farming going on later. So I love this set. The extra. So I need, I need three times four. Twelve set. Twelve items. Twelve. Um, what are they called? Vertebra shackles. So I will use that extra damage there. Yeah. No. I was just gonna say I like this. I like the. The thief set, or this this set that makes me a little bit invisible because it's just a, a reducing a, a little bit of the um, the aggro that I'm putting on enemies. Is there something I want to do with this? Is there any vort items? I don't really think there's anything that vort gives me that I want. to actually do something significant. There's not really much I can do back here. Probably sell that Evelyn. I don't know. Never really got into the bolt weapons. What was I going to do? I was going to come up here for something. Oh, I was going to see if there's anything I can give for Vort Soul. I think I would honestly have a better run at farming Vort than I would farming Use what else? gun deer so maybe you could put board up to nah I'm probably still a bit under under leveled to successfully get through that could be a good um, area of effect spell that I could put on I will buy that and I think I'd just get one ring and one of his, and his hammer. His hammer? Yeah, Vort's great hammer. What's the ring he gives me? He gives me that ring, actually. Ooh. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. That's the princess. Big demon character now. That's very end game. That's DLC end game, that one is. Was there an eye? Princess, yeah. Princess, yeah, yeah, give it. That's much later as well, being it. Uh, so this, this is, I mean, you can see all of these together now. This is the, the accessory that I've really been wanting to put uh, poison onto all enemies. Obviously, this is the one that I got from Corrupted Gundir, but um, I couldn't believe that the Eom, uh, Giant. Yom, Yom gives you this. The bleed ring would be given to you quite early if I remember correctly. Anyway, we will continue on. Yeah, I've never left so much stuff not done before, but there's just uh, 
I guess usually I'd have a bit more time to myself as well, and I'd be able to grind out those areas and really, um, you know, take on one enemy at a time. But yeah, uh, just keep going. Hopefully, get uh, get something, some item, or, or something to uh, to make me a bit more, a bit more resilient. Just thinking. So we did go see him. I will go through that uh, that whole ambush area again probably when I'm a little less squishy yeah I definitely wouldn't call this series at all a uh, or not intended at all to call this a a what do you call it? A, a, a guide or a, like a, uh, a a walkthrough or anything like that because yeah it's just get my ass handed to me way too much I think it was just this normal new game or well, you know first game play just how many how many here uh, it would have much better success than this for sure much more uh, time uh, and safety to not have a lot of issues with this. Even these rats will mess me up, especially if I let them hit me. I have much more confidence running past things now with this uh, with this gear. Uh, yeah, kill this mimic. Honestly, I should just go through and kill. Yeah, I should do that. Oh, there's that health thing that I put on. It almost propped. It's probably not like it's not actually does do a ton, and I'm I'm not able to risk a huge amount to strike that many times. Oh, and you jumped down there as well. Great. So there's a ton of enemies down there that I don't want to fight yet. I'll probably just reset that guy. Anyway, my thoughts were before I interrupted myself today, I will fight uh, fight the big tree fight the cursed rotten great wood so I can get that poison ring that way I'll have a little bit more success and you can sort of see the gameplay that I'm intended to do honestly yeah I'll probably get that ring upgrade it swap it out from that curse ring that I've got even though I have upgraded it but I hope sort of Honestly, uh, yeah, one of my favorite things was to put the, like the spotted whip. Again, spotted whip was a uh, Dark Souls 2 weapon, and uh, it gives a huge amount of poison build up. So putting that ring on, infusing that whip with poison, uh, would like uh, would, would you know, PVP. It almost you know one two shot would uh, would apply the poison effect and toxic effect uh, more so. Uh, I was trying to make builds where I just do all statuses, so I'd have those on, and then I'd have like a katana, the katanas that uh, put a bit of um, bleed on. Anyway, so the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is using my master ring, is unlock this gate here. How do I unlock that gate before? Did this mimic not reset? I rested a bonfire. Did I rest at the bonfire? Maybe I forgot to. Maybe. Oh, he's just straight up gone back to sleep. Okay. I think. Oh, yeah. So, the other really good thing about having that poison accessory is that it affects your arrows as well. So, if I really just want to like sit back, not take any damage as well, and now that I'm super sneaky, uh, and just a, a put bleed effects onto enemies. You know, I could just put a bleed effect on this rat, run away, uh, you know, loop back around. Um, you know, if this rat had a huge, huge health pool, I don't think we've got enough health pool really to justify using that technique, but oh, it does. Two shot me. 
but enemies like an ogre or I don't know, like the, the giants and things. Yeah, so that's what I was saying before. I think uh, probably after this series, it'll probably be good enough to do a a, 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 a walkthrough. Because, yeah, now knowing some of these strats, I mean, yeah, I could probably just make a beeline to kill Vort and just get this these items. Beeline to Vort, beeline to the Curse for the Greatwood, because really, I mean, yeah, again, Touchwood. I shouldn't have an issue with uh, Curse for the Greatwood. Honestly, Vanilla, Curse Rotted, really, it hurt me. It, um,. I guess I didn't really understand how or its weak spots. I kind of just went for the ball sack and the groin and, and uh, never backed off when I needed to. Uh, but Curse Rotted Greyhood and Vanilla always kicked my ass. I really shouldn't have because, yeah, definitely my, my friends, uh, they had no issue with it. I'm sure I missed that. Sorry, sorry. Touch my mic there, but I'm sure I dodged that. Oh well. He'll reset now, and I'll kill him up on that higher part. Drop down, grab my souls, open that gate. I'm trying to think now. Yeah, so you have to. That's right. So to open that gate in vanilla at least, and I'm pretty sure this is still the case in uh, Convergence. You'd have to go straight through there, go over to the area where the. Uh, the. over the back there, that giant throws arrows at you. And I usually go up and just kill that guy. I would love to have the poison before I go fight him. Anyway, you go into there, you get the Mortician's Ashes or, or someone's Ashes, and then you get, have to give that to the Maiden back at, or the, the, the little shopkeeper lady at the Filing Shrine, and then you would get the key to open this area that I'm about to go through if I can kill this Mimic. Um, that would be the vanilla way through, or the way you'd have to do it even in this mod if you did not choose the Master Key. So yeah, as I say, the mask key, it's not necessary, but it'll just avoid some... Okay, that sucks. I don't want to fight you down there. With all the rats. I may come back later. Just not, com not cooperating, which is not your job. Your job is to kill me. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, one of those. You could see me change a weapon, which was the button that I used to change the interaction. Calanthe ring. Do I want that? I'm pretty stacked with my uh, with my endurance. So usually the Calanthe ring is just like one thing I never take off. But uh, with that endurance on, if I didn't have the endurance, I probably would be going at Calanthe ring. Yeah, I'm super glad. Jeez, this this I, I know I'm gushing over this. I really don't need to, but uh, this set is just helping me out so much. I mean, is these guys even aggro? No, like the dogs aren't even aggro. I don't know if this is so this effect was so strong in the vanilla as well. Obviously, I never really thought to need you know, any stealth in vanilla. That's way too low. I knew that. Great. Uh, what does it work again? I think this just gives you more endurance. Yeah, more endurance. What have I got on this? Is that? Oh! Never seen that before. That's new to me. That's like out of Dark Souls 2. That's sick. That's great. And it's a lot better that it didn't actually uh, poison me. But these rats might do that instead. Oh, I am. I will not be using this, uh, that's a lot of damage. Sorry, that's, um, I will not be using this set the entire run through. I definitely will get a little bit of fashion styles before the end, but, uh, it served me so well. It's just so effective to run through mobs, and there's just so many mobs. It is killing me. I, I'm a bit of a, oh, and it's a second one. I have just never seen that. That is such a different one. I mean, I didn't even strike it to so it make sure there wasn't a, a mimic. The beast cutter axe thing, this was a really good weapon. I think it just still puts on bill, uh, bleed as well, so it might be a good status effect. Uh, 
weapon for the future to actually do. Again, I just run through and pick up stuff. Furnaces. What? Oh, yeah, this is a new update as well. Replace the dodge with the hunter dash if equipped. If enabled. Okay, so maybe there's another upgrade that I've got to do with it. Disabled of current equipment. Okay, that's that's really cool. But um, it almost takes on. I don't want to strike. Really it almost takes on the effects of the of the I'm trying to think here of the of the tools uh, of the like the hunter tools. Uh, so if I two hand that, it turns into the whip and it does like a really big air of effect swings. But if I one-hand it, it acts a bit more like a normal axe. So it tries, uh, and this is just awesome. It's all about the uh, all about the additions that this mod is giving. Uh, and so yeah, that, that's just cool that they've been able to add all of these even custom move sets to some of these weapons. And uh, yeah, do a bit of crossover and between Souls and Bloodborne. And again, like uh, I said this one of the early episodes, but uh, if if Bloodborne can come to PC, I'll be a happy, happy man. I will be quite happy. There used to be in Cinders, there used to be a, an item on top of those houses there. And as you, as we're just above my head, there's that corpse that I haven't looted that shiny off because I just skipped through. Uh, you would have to jump down off the side of there onto those roof houses, the house, onto those roofs to um, collect an item. And it was like the falchion, but I think they've removed it. And I guess it is because it was just a bit of an out of the way item for people to pick up. Here we go, our onion bro. And I'm, I'm probably going to get this guy killed later, uh, or maybe even soon. I will show you this, and, and it is Miles Spoiler's spoil head because this is the part that uh, it shocked and scared the absolute bejesus out of me. Really, this was definitely part of the mod that made me thought, "Wow, this is this is special." So again, gushing over it, but it just I don't know, this. How long's this game? It's probably game's been out probably longer than ten years now. No, not ten years. It's been out for a significant amount of time now, but just to have oh, so many new better ways to play is just great and that's why as I say saying this is why I'm loving uh, PC and modding community obviously it gets itself into trouble a little bit here and there but uh, it's really amazing that these content creators because it goes back in that conversation I had last episode about how AAA developers like what are they doing for people who are innovators in this realm and yet the AAA were kind of you know where only somewhere money is going to there's no uh, ridiculous amounts of dollars going into consoles and all this sort of stuff all oh, powerful weapon uh item there but i don't think i'll be able to use it just yet it gets really powerful once you start upgrading it and that's well look i always kill this giant because i make peace with him and he's like yeah sweet it gives you items and then i must die or maybe i reset and then he is not friends with you anymore and he still shoots arrows at you and i just I just prefer to kill him to get him out of the way. I know it's just sacrilege. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna kill Cursor of Greatwood first, then take on everything else. Which is the direction? Okay, so I've made friends with him, so I'll go through that pass without getting arrows shot at me. Um, however, yeah, even when he's fighting enemies, that giant always ends up hitting me as well. Which I know, you just get good and block it. And even in the vanilla, I felt like. That was close to killing me. I don't know. Should not have stopped so brazenly there. Anyway. Yep. Lost my train of thought. So, well, yeah, I was talking about how these modders and, and like, the ridiculous community behind Skyrim and Fallout 4 and that, and, and creating like Fallout 3 and New Vegas and Fallout 4's engine. Oh, I really hope that those guys can get it, get out there, and and can use that as a platform, a resume, to, to, to like to assist their careers and things. Um, look, I'm getting really uh, worked up about this as well, but 
I don't know how many souls I had, but it's probably, it's probably not enough to justify going back that way. Anyway, I kind of skips this back to where we were intending to go. Jesus, there's so many enemies. I always kind of forget. I Definitely, this is part of the challenge. You know, I keep sort of forgetting that it's New Games at Plus 7, which I'd say at the start of every episode. I mean, you probably get it by now, but... Um, again, this could be another good place to farm. But uh, forget that, you know, adding all of the enemies, so that's not just adding just a standard mob of enemies, it's adding all the enemies that have much higher damage to me, much higher resistance to me, a much higher chance of them putting damage onto me and killing me. Yeah, like, no, I don't know, it's kind of jerking myself off here a little bit, but it's just such a different way for me to play because I've always played like a, a attempted runs where I'd put all of the damages up to max or the curse modifiers and attempted to use this as like a platform you know even if like I kill this scrub here he would still give me like, like 5,000 souls or something so I could um, increase the rate in which I'm progressing through my levels up my, you know, my soul level and also the weapon level because it's kind of like <sighs> a way for me to get to end game really quickly and that's kind of like another point that i kind of want to discuss is that i i feel real guilty that I, even bloodborne as well i never play through the new game plus levels very often and this mod has been allowed me to sort of skip a lot of time spent and it's not, not always like it, it's definitely good using this content but almost every time once i finish the souls game i have not wanted to start new game plus i've like wanted to go okay i'm good now at this game now i just finished the last boss or the dlc boss particularly in, in bloodborne like when she finished this game she got a good skill level behind you and, you and you start off you feel so powerful you feel so powerful already in new game because i mean obviously everything's gotten hard more difficult in that new game plus setting but uh I just feel overpowered by having all of the items unlocked so I just like start a brand new game from scratch again and then like I find like okay I can play this game now that I'm good and yeah I, I just and even Dark Souls 2 it added they added more NPC players and far, far more lore to discover all of the um, the extra soul items that you get after killing new game plus bosses which is amazing and, and and you can sort of see my interest in this game as well that these translucent enemies as we're about to walk into here I just, I'm going to go go put a hit on him and just sort of see the, the minor, minute damage I do you can't even see it on that health bar there's like a little sliver like a pixel off that that's so painful and I guess some the other kind of thing that this challenge is that uh, is that you can't take off New Game 7 Plus? Like you can take off all the curses, but it's kind of imposed now. And uh, I don't know why I just tried to hit him there because you can't do any damage. But yeah, like I'm sort of saying, uh, I just like how this mod allows me to to play the content at New Game 7 Plus because it's kind of like. Yeah, you can go to New Game 100 or whatever, but to my understanding that 7 is um, the hardest it will get. I could be wrong, but I think that's the the most increase. And then from 7 onwards, at least in most games, they don't change anything. I could be wrong with that. Please correct me if I am wrong, but uh, I'm now... F uh, yeah, and there's a lot of games that I kind of regularly... Uh, it doesn't come into cost anymore. It's more the time sink. Um, how how long? I, I've, I've really wanted to play Red Dead Redemption 2, but I'm just really scared of how much time I'm gonna put into that game, or have to sink into it. Not have to sink, into it, that's the thing, but I guess maybe that's kind of the reason as well. I was saying earlier about why I didn't really love. GTA 5. It just felt like there's a lot of time. Yeah, same still left. That's good. Yeah, I, I like this. This dude could still one shot me, but I am much liking the bosses a whole lot more. I mean, yeah, 100. percent I'll get up to like even even um even the Legion, Undead Legion, and that'll probably kill me. I'll probably will struggle with them honestly. Not something I had a huge issue with the vanilla, but definitely new yeah, game. Uh, this challenge is 
I, I, yeah, honestly, that's that's definitely boss. I'll be taking some NPCs in to help me out. Ooh, I've never gotten damaged by that sludge before. That sludge was uh, taking health off me. I guess that's what is normal, dude. I, I always um, like I, I I checked out. Like I was trying to see you know if my items were degrading or something like that. Oh, I completely forgot that that backslash was gonna happen. That rightly should have damaged me. Or if that grab hit me, it probably would have killed me as well. I should really should use my claymore for those overhead strikes. Does it have it? Must it? Yeah, it does. Definitely does. Yeah, that's not good. Please don't. Yep. Okay. Good. I've already killed those. Destroyed those egg sacks. If I can kill this guy and get that ring that lets me put poison on stuff, I'll be so happier. So much happier. Yeah, as I said, I wasn't really intended to do this sort of sneaky build. It's not even a build yet. That's the concerning thing. Even at, uh... Even at soul level, what am I, 113, 116 or whatever now? I don't really feel like this is a build yet. It's not really coming into its own. Oh, I am struggling. Let's take something significant. Before this dude comes and squashes me. Where are your egg sacks? Such a gross boss. I mean, yeah, I know, that's kind of the mindset of these. They're not. Oh, run away, run away, run away. I'm going to swap to my claymore. A bit more damage output and the overhead strikes is really what I need for some of those higher ones. Go this elbow. That's what I need. Where's your elbow? Dead. How am I not dead? Oh, I was sure I was dead then. Why is he laying down? I'm obviously dead, but I thought he only did that once I killed him. Oh, I completely forgot. I think I was supposed to fight his NPC first before doing this. But he probably is. He was probably going to push my shit in, honestly. He's just those, uh, those parries he does. And he's got a significant health build. Done! So far, I mean, yeah, I did die a couple times to Gundyr, but yeah, Gundyr first go, Vort first go, and that thing first go. Run for a good good start. To all the bosses, at least. We will leave it there. But we're making progress. Next episode, I'll have my poison ring. And we'll get a bit more further along. Thanks for coming with me. This is Colo5. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.